Hi all and welcome to the video learning session of Excel and VBA. As this uh, series we are talking about the event procedure and in today's topic we will discuss about workbook before save events. Before that uh, in previous video we have uh, discussed about open event. Now in today's video we will discuss about before save. So, so let's move to the Excel file and see what is the before save events then we will discuss in detail so i have opened my excel file and now visual basic editor so this is my visual basic editor we have to click on double this workbook double click on this workbook and then it will come so by default whenever we are opening this one open event will come directly so before this i'll just select the before save so this will come we don't require the workbook open so i'll delete this one and let's work on this okay so so this event is useful when we are doing some kind of validation before saving my workbook so this is the before save so before save have two parameters one is save as ui that is boolean data type and second one is cancel which is also boolean data type. whether it can be true or it can be false so let's say for example i i want to restrict a user that they will not be able to save this workbook in any another format or they can't they should not be making a copy of this workbook so let's work on this one so we have two parameters so let's use our first uh, parameter save as ui so i am using if save as ui then and if then message box just i am just giving the simple example you can validate or you can give something else like uh, you can find out the extension of file and then you can restrict for example this is the excel sm file if you want to restrict that this this should not be saved in binary file also then you can restrict so i'm just writing the message like now you are not authorized to make a copy of this file okay and instead of message it will come message box and cancel is equal to true okay i have just given the simple message if my save as if user will go and uh, try to save as this file then the message box should come so let's try this one so i have given this one i'll now i'll press the file and save as when i'll browse anything it will give the message box you are not authorized to make a copy of it so person is not able to save this file in any other format because he is not able to for example if i'll if i am not able to open as a save as also then how i can make this one so uh, whenever i'll do then you are not authorized to make a copy so the person only can save this file and this will be same if i i'll write the save or if i'll click on the save button it will save but it will not allow you to save the copy of uh, this file in any another format so this is the first thing like now we can validate this one and uh, another thing like now if we want to validate some data for example if my a1 is blank then this workbook should not be saved so let's work on that one so i am opening my visual basic editor i'm just deleting this one or instead of this i'll just delete this one Thanks. so now what i i would like to do if my a1 is blank then this should not be saved so i what i'm going to do um, if active sheets active sheet dot range a1 
is equal to blank then message box should come and tell the user your a1 is blank so this workbook is not saved okay so that will be and if so let's try this one also so i my a1 is blank here so if i'll control s then it will say your a1 is blank so this workbook is not saved so there can be multiple uses also like you know, for example i want to check the entire row if there will be any blank then i this this workbook should not be saved or if the active sheet have the filter then this should this workbook should not be saved so all this condition can be comes here and you can check before saving your workbook so if i'll write a1 something here and then i'll try to save it will be saved so that's all this was the some example i have given to you to give the understanding of what is the before save so it's upon your logic how you are going to use this one and let's move to the power presentation so we have discussed about the before save and thanks for watching and keep learning please share like and subscribe yeah. and if you have any particular query you would like to ask then please comment in comment box thank you thank you very much